Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Whitley's World. I am Whitley and every Wednesday I do Atlanta Eats where I go around to different places in Atlanta and try out different restaurants. Wednesday. Every Saturday I do what I am doing today which is cooking with Whitley where I basically try to cook because I'm not the best at cooking so if you are new here welcome glad to have you and if you are not new here you already know the deal welcome back thank you for coming back and so yeah um today today we are doing <clears throat> something that is in my mind very hard to do something that I am not quite looking forward to doing but I'm gonna do anyways because that's just how it is but we're <laughs> but we're following Lizzie Lou food if you don't know Lizzie Lou she cooks way better than me it comes out way better it looks way better and I'm pretty sure it tastes way better and her food be looking like chefs okay so i am following her video of panda express so we are making a whole plate of panda express that includes the noodles the rice um i think in this video she did the orange chicken and the kung pao chicken and the wontons yeah so in my mind this is gonna take like three four hours and in y'all's reality it's gonna be like 30 minutes so yeah that's why i'm kind of like dang why did i do this but this is what i do yeah 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 anyway so as usual let's get into the ingredients okay so for the orange chicken batter we will need chicken thighs flour, cornstarch, seltzer water. And for the orange chicken sauce, we will need garlic. So it calls for chili flakes and let's just say I thought we had chili flakes, but turned out it was red pepper. So that should work, right? I'm gonna say it's gonna work. Crushed red pepper slash chili flakes some fresh ginger, chicken stock slash broth. They never say if it's light or dark brown sugar, but I'm using dark, so dark brown sugar, ketchup, soy sauce, and finally orange extract. And this is all the ingredients we will need for the orange chicken. Moving on for the Kung Pao chicken, we need one egg white, soy sauce, cornstarch, black pepper. And for the add-ins, we need a zucchini, an onion. They say a red bell pepper, but my Walmart is so freaking hood. They didn't have nothing. Like, honestly, they didn't have nothing. So the only thing that they had was green red, I mean, green bell pepper. So that's what we're gonna use. And then for the sauce, you will need chili paste, soy sauce, oyster sauce. So this is all the stuff you will need for the Kung Pao chicken. Of course, you still need the chicken and stuff, but like extra. For the chow mein, you will need yakisoba noodles. Now, this actually comes with stuff in it. Um, really, just take it out, open it. This is what you need. The rest, you don't need. So, like, you can throw this away. Green cabbage, onion, oyster sauce. And they say celery, but uh, again, my Walmart don't got crap, so they didn't have celery. So this is all you'll need for the yakisoba noodles. And finally, for the wonton, you will need cream cheese, 
wonton wrappers, honey, and some green onions. And that is all you need for the wonton wrappers. As for the fried rice, you just need rice, basically. Okay, excuse me, y'all. Phone was going dead, had to charge it. But we got all the ingredients. So let's see what she does first. So y'all don't know my struggles with chicken. Well, no, you do, you do, you do. With the stir fried pineapple bowl and that was raw. And then again with the, uh, the, 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 the air fryer, which actually turned out good. So maybe it's a half and half type thing. Um, but my past uh, experience with chicken is uh, I don't know how to cut it. It's very hard to cut. They say cut against the grain or cut with the grain. I'm not really sure what grain I'm supposed to be cutting, but cutting chicken is very hard, okay? So she said that she wants me to cube first. Um, whatever that means. So I guess we're just cutting the chicken up into chicken nuggets. So that's what we're gonna start with. I have three knives here. I know two will work, but I'm not really sure about the last one. This one is the one I'm talking about. Um, I don't know why I grabbed a butter knife, but you never know, okay? Not all heroes wear capes, so we're just gonna leave that right here. So she said the cube it, but cut off the fat. Um, I'm guessing this is the fat, or it's the skin. I'm not really, I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna cut this part off, I'm guessing, because I didn't see this part on hers okay okay we're already having trouble here okay hold on. can i just rip it off? oh okay <laughs> there we go and then this has bones that's <sighs> okay so i guess i guess you cut down the bone okay like i said every single time i cut chicken it's like maybe today's the day i become vegan Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Okay, we're, oh! <laughs> no, this is so not me. Uh, I'm feeling all the bones. I'm so sorry, chicken. I don't want to do this. Okay, 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 okay. I cut the bone off. There might be some more meat on here, but bump that. Mm -mm, nope, not doing it. So this is the meat right here. Boom. And then gotta do this one. Okay, okay. Got the bones off. Okay, so these, these are my chickens. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this away I guess okay so these are my chickens right here and she said to cube them probably should have got a bowl before I did this hold on okay so cubing cube squares gotcha I just don't know why chicken has to be hard to cut she cut it so easily okay let me just lay that out let me use my other knife maybe Ooh, maybe I was just using the wrong knife. Oh, and I don't know if I said this, but yes, I did wash the chicken <laughs> before anybody asked. Okay, and I, ooh, okay, so you are cutting worthy. Okay, so cut this part. Dang, I wish I would have had this knife. Where have you been? And as usual, I am eating this by myself. So basically I'm cooking for myself. So I don't need that much chicken. I really feel like I actually did too much chicken. Cause I still have like two other chicken thigh, I mean chicken thigh in the package, but it's cool. I figured something out to do with that. And if this turns out good, shoot, I might just do some more tomorrow. Okay, so I have my chicken in here. Ew, ew, it just feels so bad. I have it in here, so now that I have cut it, let's see what we gotta do next. Okay, so I think we're doing the, the wedding for the compound chicken, so let me go in and do that.
Okay, so we need an egg white. Oh my gosh, how do I get an egg white? Okay, I can crack it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I might, I might got this. Okay, so crack it. Come on, come on, you got this, you got this, you got this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, and then like transfer the egg from this side. You feel me? To this side. And then just keep doing that. Hey, I did it. Oh my gosh, that's chill, got in. Oh my gosh, egg white. Okay, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, a little bit got in, but you know, that should be fine. Okay, next we need one tablespoon of soy sauce. Boom. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Boom. And then one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. Boom. Give that a little whisk. I don't know why when people do this crap this looks so easy but then I do it and it's just like what is you doing huh my power just went out now I don't know if I put this over both the compound chicken and the orange chicken or is this just for the compound chicken I'm guessing it's just for the compound chicken, so I'm gonna split it up. Pour a little bit of chicken in there. Okay, you feel me? Boom. Cause I like orange chicken way more than I like compound. So, uh, which one looks like it got a lot more? I don't even know. Compound, orange. Maybe orange compound? I don't know, whichever one. So we're gonna pour this over. Get it all up in there. And let's see what we gotta do next. Okay, so we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to do the, um, well, let me see, did she do, what did she do with the vegetables afterwards? So first and foremost, let's put the timer on for the chicken. <laughs> so 30 minutes and then as that is going we are going to make the sauce and then we're going to cut the vegetables and then after that we are going to saute them and then after that we're going to put the chicken in so let's do it okay so it's a two to two to two ratio so first we're going to do the chili paste Well, really, it's one to one to one because I don't got that much chicken. So, one to one. Okay, so this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Okay, nope, here we go, here we go. Okay, two, one. Just going to stir this up. And this is the sauce for the Kung Pao chicken. So we're gonna let that sit over there. And then next, we're gonna cut the vegetables. I don't feel like washing that cupboard right now. So we're gonna do this on a plate, you know? You gotta improvise sometimes, okay? So we need the onion, we need the bell pepper, and we need the zucchini. Okay. So first we're gonna go with the zucchini. Let me go wash these first and then I'll be right back. So she cut the ends off. So that's what I am gonna do. You feel me? And again, I do not have that much chicken. So we're gonna use half of this, so this half. Okay, 
Okay, so we get those. Let me put that in a bowl. Mm. Moving on. Again, don't got that much chick on, so we're just gonna do. Half of that. Oh my gosh! Look at this! It has like a baby on the inside. Oh my gosh! Hold up. Now look at that. Oh, I'm gonna cut it. Anyway, okay, that looks about right. Probably a lot more than I need, but oh well. Okay, boom. Bell peppers in. Last but not least, onion. Okay. Onion. Is that enough onion? Maybe I should do a little bit more onion. Hold on. Okay, and so now she said after that we are going to saute these. Okay, so I put the vegetables in. And she said to cook these until they're translucent, which I think is going to take a long time, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so I'm not even kidding. I walked away for like two minutes. And uh, it's still being see-through. It's a little, it's a little burnt through. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. You feel me? Just enough. Okay. So um, now we are going to put this in another bowl. Okay. And then we're gonna put in the chicken. And. I cook that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is <laughs> this is why. Oh my gosh, was there not oil in this? Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Oh my goodness. Let me just add some oil. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Woo! Eh. Wow, okay. Okay. I did mess up the pan though, so my bad. And this time I'm gonna let it cook. Cause last time Y'all know the story. It did not go well. It was raw. So this time, I'm going to let this thing cook for as long as freaking possible, okay? Whenever I feel like it is done, that's when we're going to do it. Okay. I'm going to assume it's done now. Because literally the chicken is ripping apart. Okay, so. Now, you add up. Oh, oh, let me just bring that down a little bit. You add your sauce. Okay, and then you add your, your vegetables. You feel me? And then you just... Compound it. Okay, so I think um, this is done. So I'm just going to transfer it back to the bowl. And um, bon appetit. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, my Kung Pao chicken. So moving on. Now
Next, we are going to do the orange chicken. So the first thing she started with was the ginger and the garlic. So let me go and get both of them. Okay, y'all. So now we are making the orange uh, chicken sauce. Okay, so this is the best that I can get for ginger. So we're just going to put that on in there. Okay, she said one tablespoon of garlic. Oh wait, but I don't even got that much chicken. I keep forgetting. Goodness gracious. Okay, we're gonna take out some of this ginger. We're gonna leave like probably that much. And then we're gonna use probably like this much. This is why you should just go straight from the, the recipe. Probably about this much, boom. One teaspoon of chili flakes. Again, I got crushed red pepper. Don't know if it'll be the same, but boom. Um, one half cup of chicken stock. Maybe, well, you know what? Bump it. I don't even know at this point. I'm just going, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like I probably should stop. I'm gonna stop right here. Boom. Okay. And then one fourth cup of brown sugar. Okay. I'm, I always have trouble with brown sugar. Okay, uh-huh, yep. But it comes out in crumbs. Yep, this is about good. Boom. Um, three tablespoons of ketchup. That's weird, but not going to question it. I'm going to do a good two. Because all the proportions are wrong right now. Um, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Probably about that much. And then one teaspoon of orange extract. See, so, let me find it. That's pure. Okay. So again, we're just gonna. Oh my gosh. Oh oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh good lord. I poured too much. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do. Do I pour the rest in? Okay. You know what? No, that's good. That's good. I can't pour it back in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we're just gonna give this a, oh, hold on. Give this a mix mix. And then she's doing the batter. So, one cup of flour, let me get another bowl. Okay, boom. One and a half cup of cornstarch. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I eat out a lot. Okay, boom. I don't even need that much. I don't know why I did all of this. Okay. <sighs> One cup of salsa water. Okay, I don't know if they want me to use a whisk. Okay, got a whisk. Okay, after we're just gonna add the whole thing and just stir it. So the next thing she does, and then we're just gonna pour the chicken in there. Okay, so now I just have to wait till my, whatever that is, deep fryer, uh, what's it called? Heat up, and then I will be back. But my chicken is in the batter. I made a whole lot more batter than I needed. I don't know why it, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so it seems like it is hot. So we're gonna put one in there, she said to, uh, to, uh, do this first and then let release it 
You feel me? And then just keep on doing that, I guess. Anyway, this is how the chicken looks like. Boom. Okay, so now we are going to do the wonton wrappers. I got some water, my wonton wrapper, and my filling. So, we're going to get one piece. Which are really hard to take out, bro. Get a spoon. Put some, like, in the middle. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to get this. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. I think that's good enough. Take this part out. Okay, boom. Right, right. And then you're gonna get some water. Put it on these ends. Oh my gosh, I'm this. Okay. And then she said you are going to. I don't know. Um. <laughs> put it together, right? So we're just gonna see how these two go. So I'm just gonna put them in here. Or maybe I should like drop them. I guess the only thing we can do is see how my wontons turned out. So I think I did pretty good. Some of them is busted, like this one, for example, busted. But the rest, I think I did pretty good on. So, and then I gave up on this one because I was like, eff it. Well, yeah, so. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is just pour the sauce in here. And she said, um, just let it do what it do. It's going to uh, thicken up, I guess. I guess. I think this is as thick as it's going to get. So I'm just going to add in my chicken. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. And then... So the last thing that I have to do is the chow mein and I'm done because Lord Jesus my feet hurt my feet hurt bro it does okay so I'm just gonna cut these up real quick ah oh, freak okay cut these up real quick without cutting my hands add them to the pot let them cook until they get translucent where's the camera oh my gosh oh please don't let me drop it let me protect my wig oh, oh my gosh okay so i'm not doing rice no more because my back hurt so we're just going to stick to the yakisoba noodles pretend like there's rice okay okay and then next is adding the yakisoba noodles I'm gonna do a little bit more and one and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce oh my gosh okay well just a little bit more since I can't get the rest and then let that cook I guess And while that's cooking, I am going to go and plate. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know how any of this tastes, but let me just try to do this thumbnail because I don't even know how I am. Cool. Uh, so here's the noodles. Here are the wontons. Can you see them? The wontons and the orange chicken and the compound chicken. I do not know how any of this is gonna go. I don't know how any of this, I don't know how any of this is gonna taste. I hope and pray it tastes good because this is the only dinner that I am going to be having. But let's see, okay? So first, I'm gonna try the noodles, okay? Bon appetit, oh, hold on, let me get some, some cabbage, okay.
I will say I probably shouldn't have put that third soy sauce in there. That third teaspoon tablespoon. Other than that, it isn't bad. Um, yeah. So now let's try the combat chicken. And, uh, hold on. Let me get a, let me get this in a zucchini. Where's the zucchini? Mm-hmm. No, um, I'm not really sure how compound chicken pasta tastes. Because I'm not a compound person. But it tastes pretty good. Still a little bit salty. But definitely not bad. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. I see me now the one that I am just as scared scared the most of is the orange chicken because I am a oh sorry hold on I am a orange chicken connoisseur at Panda Express okay that's all I get okay so I don't know I don't know let's see Oh my gosh. And I gave my mom, I'm going to play the video, but I gave my mom a piece. Well, she, basically she came in there and was like, give me a piece. And um, I forgot that I don't, I didn't know if it was done or not. You know what? I'll just play the video. Look at the video and then come back. It was a lot of dishes, mom. Is she gonna Do be you a cook? have to take a picture? I'm going to show it to your daddy. She got, she, and, and all we got is this. Mom, you're just a hater. I mean, and all we got is this. Mom, take a picture of the wontons too. Those are, that took a lot of time and energy. But my son, can, can my son eat it no. a bit? <laughs> he can get up and cook himself. <laughs> Why you want to do that to my son? Oh, okay. He right now, he's like this. I have not even tried it. Okay, now what are this? Can I try one of these? What is it? <laughs> this cream cheese with honey and, and green. Oh, it got green onions in it, though. Now, what is that? That's Kung Pao chicken. That's orange chicken. And these are new. Where are you on that one? A hundred dishes. I'm glad the Chinese folks don't do you like this. So yeah, that's how all of that went. Um, but this is the orange chicken. She said it was good. She said all of it was good, but this is the orange chicken. Um, mm, did I even do my dance? Hold up. Okay. Hmm. 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 Mm. And it is done. <laughs> mm. Oh 
all gone. That was just a whole lot of fat. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's good. Okay. And then finally, the wontons. Now, real thing with the I mean, real quick with the wontons. Um, they I did not have enough oil in my my uh, deep fryer, so I had to do one side, and then I tried to do the other side. But it would not turn over. Like I would do it and then I would have to turn it over and literally hold it so that it can stay on that side. So the bottom part isn't um, fully cooked, but the top part is. So I don't know how that's going to go. We're about to see. Mm-hmm. They got the spirit. <laughs> Definitely got the spirit. And I'm not talking Holy Ghost. Mm. This is an excellent plate. I would not say that I did better than Ten Express, a fast food restaurant. But I will say, I did better than what I thought I would do, or be, or, 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 you know. As usual, thank you so very much for watching. Please do not forget, forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you all next Wednesday. Oh, and uh, before I forget, if you all like my Atlanta Eats crowd, if you all have any food that you want me to cook, you know, no matter how difficult it may be. Now, I'm not saying at the end of the day it's going to come out, you know, chef kisses. But if you have any food that you want me to try out, you know, to cook or whatever, um, just leave it down in the comments below. I'll add them to my cooking list. And yeah, so I'll see you all next week Wednesday and peace out.